My name is Michael Axel. Um, well, why are you a Christian, Michael? Uh, pretty much because my mom is, but I, I like to be. All right, I'm Patrick Nchovo. Um, and why are you a Christian? Well, I, well, I was brought to Christ at actually an early age when I was a kid, so my Sunday school teacher was a little brought me to Christ, so I just I love God, so I just don't really know. Yeah. My name is Alex Nchovo. Um, and why are you a Christian? Well, just because, I mean, God gave a son for us. And I feel like if someone did that much for me, then I have, like, I feel like I have no other choice but to accept this gift. Good. My name is Emei Chub. I'm the pastor of Cornerstone Fellowship. <laughs> and why are you a Christian? I'm a Christian because Christ has died for me and I'm um, why are you a Christian? Um, oh, my name is Constance Boa. And Constance, well, why are you a Christian? Oh, Lord, I am so thankful to be a Christian because my life has changed since I knew Christ, and uh, he helped me. He's really the rock of my life. <laughs> That's why I'm a Christian, because I know everything is better with Good. Christ. My name is uh, Nenki Louis. Um, and why are you a Christian, Sam? I'm um, a Christian because I think that his grace is the only way to have eternal life. Um, how long have you been a Christian? I've been a Christian since 1997. That makes it about 14 years. Um, and how long have you been a Christian? Uh, I've been a Christian since I was six years old. Six years old? How long have you been a Christian? Since you were four? That's a long time, isn't it? And how long have you been a Christian? I was I was I was born, I was born in the Christian uh, family, Christian family. So uh, mm, probably um, about your whole life, maybe. Your whole life. Um, and how long have you been a Christian? Since I was born. Since you were born. Yeah. And how long have you been a Christian? Uh, I must have been probably since I was six years old. I was raised really believing Christ my entire life, so it's yeah. Um, and how long have you been a Christian? Uh, literally almost 20 years 20 since I came years? to the U.S., yes. <laughs> That's a long time. I didn't time. know Christ when I was in Africa. And when I came here, I had a powerful encounter with God. And since then, I started to love Christ and love Him with all my heart. <laughs> um, why Christianity rather than some other religion? Yeah, because... Uh, I already said that <coughs> Christian religion is the third way, the only way to, to reach it in my life. Um, why Christianity rather than some other religion? Because I like it, like, that's the true religion. For me. Um, why Christianity rather than some other religion? Because it's really like, just the only religion that we got, like, there are plenty of other religions out there, but for the other religions, you're like, it's like God is kind of like some distant, just being, it's like controlling everything. But Christianity, Christianity is like the only one where like God is like personal to you and he loves you. Uh, why Christianity? Because it's like one of the only religions that lets you choose, you have the choice of what you want. Um, why Christianity uh, as opposed to some other religion? Why, why, tell what? Why Christianity rather than some other religion? Because in all other religions, it's more about like, yourself. In Christianity, it's about God giving himself up for us. It's, just, it's just selfless. And um, but why, why Christianity rather than some other religion? The blood. The blood. The blood is everything. I mean, 
nothing can wash away my sin if it's not the blood. And my Bible tells me that the blood has washed my sin. Amen. So there's nothing else that can surpass that. Because Christ is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. So that's about it for me. Amen. 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 <laughs> Why Christianity rather than some other religion? Well, because Christianity is just Christ himself. He said he's the truth, the life, and the way. And he's the only way to salvation. That's why it's a Christian meeting. Do you believe everyone should believe in Jesus Christ? Of course. Okay. Do, do you believe everyone should be a Christian? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much? No particular reason? Um, do you believe everyone should believe in Jesus? Do you believe everyone should be a Christian? Yes, I do. However, the Bible tells us there's a chosen one. And us as a Christian, we have the goal and the work to do everything we can through our life. So people, through our deed and everything we do, will come to know him and love him. Because you can say you're Christ. And then, like a pastor said earlier, if your brother is hungry and you cannot show love by sharing what you have, how can you say that they should come and believe on yeah, what okay. you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe other people should be Christians? I believe yes, because Christ died for us, for all of us. So if you the door is open, if you receive Christ in your heart, you become a Christian. <clears throat> do you believe everyone should believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah. I'm going to say the same thing because <laughs> yeah, Christ is the only way for the eternal life. So everybody has to believe in him. Okay. Do you believe everyone should be a Christian? Yes, for sure. For sure? For sure. Um, how, and how has believing in Jesus Christ affected your life? Okay, so it teaches you what to do and not what not to do. Um, and how has believing in Christ affected your life? In a lot of ways, like, you know, some people do all kinds of bad stuff, but like, when you're Christian, you know you can do this kind of stuff. So you just, you just have to protect yourself from that. <laughs> and how has believing in Christ affected your life? It just makes me a better person every day. It just chooses me, it makes me choose the right thing to do. I don't want to disappoint God, so it makes me a better person. Okay. Um, and how has being a Christian affected your life? Well, it's affected the decisions I've made, and how I act around people, and it affects my schedule. And it's like, because I have to make time for like, prayer and reading the Bible and stuff. But it's just overall made me a much different and much better person. And how has believing in Christ affected your life? We have, we have all things we need with Christ. All things. We have all things because he's our Savior is give his lives for, for us. So we have to. Hmm. So he has to change your life? Yeah. We have to believe in him and change our life. Just believe in him and change our life. Um, all right. And how long has, how has believing in Christ affected your life? In every way, I, since I started Christ, or I, since I received Christ, for one thing I stopped, uh, for example, drinking, for one thing I stopped the music, and also making my life count for others, and more importantly, knowing that it's about eternal damnation or eternal life. And uh, for that purpose, uh, change is crucial because now instead of using my life to, for my own purposes, I probably use it to draw Christ, I mean, draw the people to Christ. Because it's about, it's an eternal matter. Hmm. Uh, um, and how has believing in Christ affected your life? 
Oh Lord, I'm blessed. I feel rich even when I'm poor. I feel amazed even when I'm in trouble. I feel empowered even when I'm weak because I have Christ in me that Amen. really lifts me up. I don't go to the phone when I have a problem. I go to the throne because I know I have a Savior. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, man.